Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for tuning back in to the 2024 Legends of the Lake presented by Innova. Uh, today's round is going to be at Sierra College up in Truckee, California. We are here again in the premium booth. Today you've got myself, uh, Spanky Edwards. You've got my special guest here, Dave Salazar. Thanks again for joining us. Yep. Um, safety, <laughs> safety Ridge. Safety Ridge Merkley on the catch cam. <laughs> Thank you, Ridge. <laughs> Been a beautiful flyover of Emerald Bay there. And get into our players. Tristan Cook hanging in, uh, I believe, tied the hot round yesterday, eight under. Same with, I believe, Ryan Bain. Mm -hmm. Good to see them hanging out there. This is going to be a fun course to see them kind of attack. Uh, I think set the lines here a little bit tighter, a little bit longer. Um, I'd say overall more difficult course, but we'll see how these guys play it. You know. Yeah, I feel like it's a little longer as well. That's for sure, uh, but beautiful. And Will Ling and Andrew McGill, welcome to the card, guys. Yeah, we got Dan Turner, Nate Tatolman, Mike Sale, and Quinn Berkovitz, it looks like, on the chase card as well. Yeah. Jamie. And Alex is uh, Alex is uh, down there as well with Zach. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty good top ten. Yeah, we got hole one, guys, uh, par three, 264. Um, it's... It's fairly uphill, but I don't think the distance is really an issue. I think for sure most of these guys are they're, they're hoping to get it all the way there for sure, only at only 264. Um, but there is only a, you know some pretty tight lines. There's a couple lines, but they're all pretty tight. Yeah, I actually like this as a starting hole. I agree. Um, I think it's fair. Like I said, it's not a complete uphill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know. I think I just have a history of getting it up there pretty easy. Oh, sailed it. Nice little circle's edge downhill putt at it. All right. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I was worried that was a little too wide. You guys are juicing so, this thing. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see what uh, Will has in store for us never know what he's gonna throw no i know what he's <laughs> gonna wear though his <laughs> trademark hat i think he's oh yeah yeah caught an early one it it was a good example of how like they are tight gaps yeah they make it look pretty easy but it's very easy to hit on those trees all right Everybody cool. getting warmed up here. Yeah, again, this is day two, so this is another 8 a.m. start. This is definitely uh, yeah. shaking the sleepies off. Huh. Great, Bernie. All right. It's a really good way to start for Tristan. A little downhill putter. You better stay. Luckily, there's a lot of bushes out here at Sierra College <laughs> to, catch, to catch the rollaways. <laughs> yes, there are quite a few. And we'll see that further in the round. They're just going to keep getting thicker, actually. Yeah. So this is probably the most manicured <clears throat> holes, you know? Yeah, that's why I think it's pretty fair. You know, yeah. it's pretty open. Feels Bijou-esque, but on a hill. All right, everybody's cleaning up. Just getting started. So we got one birdie and four pars to start the day. Not a bad start. On to hole two. Mm -hmm. Hole two is drastically different. <laughs> we're, we went uphill short, now we're going downhill. 273. Oh, yeah. This is, from my experience, the preferred line is the righty forehand out to that left side, just like that. Don't roll too far. <laughs> Hit something. Yeah. Great shot. Yep. There is definitely like the putter straight at it or the backhand turnover on that left side. I don't know how accessible the right side gap is, to be honest. I feel like I I always go down the middle on this one. Yeah. But honestly, it's been, well, it was, that was a dime. Yeah. <laughs> Bullseye. Through the shot, got paid. 
got paid. This hole actually has two other pin positions that are wildly harder. They go all the way down to those rocks at the end of the trees, close to the road coming in. Hard to say, we'll, we'll find out here what Will did. Okay, so far from Will, we've seen a righty backhand and a righty forehand. I, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Let's yeah. bring it up. Ryan Payne. All right. All right, Andrew. That's Andrew McGill, correct? Yes. Yes. Yep. This is a putt he makes a lot. A little downhiller, though. Try to clean this thing up here. Tristan making easy work of the downhill 273. Yeah, uphill, downhill, he doesn't care. It's pretty dialed. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Another birdie. Yeah, that was, that was the, the nicest drive for sure. Tristan's tried to roll away from him, but... Got the stick. Yeah. It was a, a fair roll. Now this hole, hole three, par four, 391 feet, is a crusher. Yeah. Yeah, this hole is tough. I think that's really just the only way you can put it. It's <laughs> 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 and it's plain, I mean, it's so far up there. You see, you see it up there. <laughs> But 391 is, I don't know what the elevation changes, but it's got to be like 30, 40 feet or something. Yeah, it's easily 30 feet. I think this is usually what I go with. Just because it's right there, you know, and hopefully you get lucky and you land right where he landed. Yeah. Except for 40 feet back for me. <laughs> All right, Anders. Oh. Trees are tough out here at Sierra College. That just made this hard hole a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes, there's that fine line where you, you know, you don't want to go super far out. Ooh. Yep, I've done all that before. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> what has Will got? He's going right hand. Oops. Right hand, backhand, Andy Flex, or Andy. We might get to see a lefty forehand coming up. Oh, great Way recovery. to go, Andrew. Wow, very good recovery. Mm-hmm. That'll save the par, right? Yep, yep, I, wow. I believe that uh, that's true. Oh, what a lovely trees. kiss there. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, Brian Jewell. Wow. Also... <laughs> I knew it, lefty forehand. Le I knew it. <laughs> I think Will's just showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. That should save the par, hopefully. Ooh, Tristan from a knee. <clears throat> we go with the forehand uphill. What do we got here? Oh, oh my oh. gosh. That was for the eagle. Wow. Tickler. And then Ryan Bain, last to go. And state line man here. Well, that looks like it's high enough. Oh, call it a two. And it is. What an eagle. Caw -caw. Caw -caw. Uh, man, I was wondering if we'd see one. That was the only one of the day. Wow, that was beautiful. Really nice. I'm not sure that's the noise a eagle makes, but. <laughs> <laughs> we can imagine. <clears throat> Insert eagle graphic here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great job, Ryan Bain. Uh, just it off to the perfect start. That's a turkey. At gobble, gobble, gobble. Ryan and Ryan, not so bad themselves. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> My mom loves me. <laughs> All right, Ryan here. After that eagle, he's first up. Hole four. There's a fairway in there somewhere. <laughs> It looked like he got all the way to like Circle's Edge there. I think so. You know, that's a really good shot as well. Yeah. 
Doesn't look like that slanted flag's giving them any uh, <laughs> any problem. Oh, great kick! It actually, means the basket's over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's it, Spank. <laughs> All right. Andrew's lining this one up. That looks like it's drifting a little left. Yeah, I think it. I think it's gonna be okay. Though. Yeah, it's gonna have a. Looks like Circle's Edge probably. Well, smooth as always. Here we go. Just gonna float right back in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he'll be fine too. I think that's gonna be a birdie. It's really hard to oh. tell how far he is with all these bushes in the way. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the depth perception goes away, huh? Yeah. Looks like about a 20 footer there, 25. Wow. There you go, Eagle Birdie. Officially found his stride. Yeah, yeah, Ryan came to play. Yeah, and Tristan keeping that perfect start alive. Yeah. I'm just a step inside, Tristan. Ryan's looking to make up some ground here as well. Looks like about a 14 footer probably. Oh, no. Oh, I have no words. How, what? <clears throat> I don't even know if you can blame the basket for that one. It just hit the bottom and came back up. Yeah. And out. It almost like it hit a trampoline. Yeah. And bounced right out. Huh. I feel for you, buddy. Some people try to say they like hit a little like screw in there sometimes mm -hmm. and bounce out, but I don't know. That was, that was a bummer. Boy, he's carrying a lot of water, huh? <laughs> You do want to stay hydrated. Like I said, this is a long course. A lot of, a lot of steps in these woods. All right, hole five, par three, 336 feet down the hill. This is a cool shot, you guys. This is uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> but you're not wrong, though. There's so many different ways to play it. You can... You know, the, the forehand, the backhand, uh, oh, some people try to go over the top, mm -hmm. uh, straight at it. Yeah, I don't know. There's kind of dealer's choice here. Just right down the... Come on. Looks like it did all right there, right? Yeah. It's a, a real neat shot. Yeah, it's a very neat shot that I've never gotten close to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Played with Dan Turner one time, and he was going over with his yeah. lefty forehand, full flex. I think I have a video of it somewhere. That Nova just sailed. Oh, yeah, all right. We're all down here now. Looking like so maybe just a bit of a layup. Yeah, they're, you know what? They were a little further than I thought they were, to be honest with you. Yeah. But again, the depth perception with all of the brush that here that's here in the um, the bushes, it's really hard to tell. Yeah. Well, from my perspective, anyway. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> all right. What? That's kind of how I thought this hole would go down, but not as extreme. Mm. One birdie, the rest pars. Wow. The entire field, just one birdie, no bogeys. One birdie? <laughs> just one birdie. All pars. I'm genuinely surprised. That, like, <laughs> I never get it close, but I, it's always close enough to just get the par, you know? Yeah. Wow. Very unique hole. Very cool. Every time I throw it, I want to go right back and throw it again. <laughs> anyway, guys, hole six, par four, 540. We're going down this kind of pathway and then it's going to cross and go uphill on the back side of the fairway i think he's in actually a, in a pretty good spot yeah if i remember correctly you want to be like that looks right to me yeah yep there's like a pseudo apron like on the left dish mm -hmm. that you know kind of holds a, a slanted um apron actually you can but see it holds the... a disc and you can see the the basket after that Huh? Little, little short there. 
Yeah, I think even from the tee box, you can barely see the basket. That looks almost perfect. Oh, I caught a tree. Yeah, it still has good up, though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what he can manufacture from here. Looks like a force flex forehand. That's going to play. Yeah, wow. I like it. Really nice approach shot there. See all the tags on those trees, Spank. I think they're doing scientific studies. Yeah, something like that. All yeah. I know is they, they chime in the wind. Ching, ching, ding, ding, ding. Ooh. Fantastic kick, actually. All right. All right, Ryan Bain. Looks like they're all going with the same kind of shot. It's kind of like the only way to get up there. I feel like no matter where you are at the bottom of that hill, there's no like gap in front of you. It's like a f you always have to flex something. Yep, yeah, exactly. Oh, a little high. Uh, it looks like all the cabbage was kind of in his mm -hmm. stroke and in his way. Let's see, what Tristan has there to say. Go. Yep, done and done. He's putting on a clinic out here. I mean, he's the, he's basically perfect, knowing that there was a single birdie on hole five. Yeah. So, <laughs> what happened there? Someone talking? I'm not sure. Yeah, Will looked over immediately. I'm not sure what was going on there. Maybe a little courtesy violation. Don't know. Maybe he was just surprised it didn't go in. Yeah, maybe that. Which he's laughing. Seems yeah. like he's all right with it. Yeah, just gonna move on. Knowing Will, he's gonna continue to shoot pretty well. <laughs> he doesn't really let <clears throat> a lot affect him. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. That sounds like he's just knocking himself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hole seven, par four, five seventy nine. Ooh, that is the, not good. The worst. That is going to be almost impossible from down there. Oh my goodness! This hole goes downhill and then up. You can see how low Tristan kept his forehand because the the branches on the trees Ooh. at the bottom of the ravine are below the tee pad. Like, so you like you almost can't even throw a straight shot out there unless you get it to turn over. Turn it over dude. Well, see what he just said. You yep. gotta turn it over because there's only a gap on that right side. Otherwise, you have to go below those branches, and then it goes pretty Ugh. drastically uphill again. I I just, I just think yeah, you don't want to be left of no. where Ridge is. There, you can see him, the catch cam. Where left is of he? him, he is, doesn't have his reflective vest on. I know. I, I'm really worried about him. <laughs> But yes, you're right. The, I believe the left side it's steep. You can see, it. yeah. You're just adding so much more elevation, and then there's more cabbage. And now are they playing the two meter rule because it's stuck in the branch there. I would imagine two meter rules in effect because we're in California, but I don't actually know. All right. See how uphill this is. This is a pull. Oh, he still goes. Yep. I've been there. I don't like it there. It's, it's just, not my fun place. It's hard to get a disc to flip uphill, you know? <laughs> I'm just having a hard time figuring out where they're at now. <laughs> Somewhere on hole seven. Yeah, I, it's, hard, it's hard to even see the basket on this one. Yeah. I know this one always gives me a hard time. Yeah, if I get a par on here, I am ecstatic. I'm always telling myself, just throw a mid-range off the tee. And then I'm like, nah, I'm going to throw this driver. <laughs> just launch it down the hill. There's the basket. Yeah. All right. Just a little chipper. A little chipper. There's somebody back there. Well, Looks like it's, I think that was Andrew. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that almost went in. I Hot dang. Ryan Bain. That was a nice height. Um, I was pulling for him on that one. Oh. 
Stop harassing the basket, Ryan Jewel. <laughs> oh, Ooh, slippery. These, these Mach 3s, you got to be careful. You put a little too hard, you're going right at the back. I don't care what anybody says. I love these baskets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're showing your age. I know. <laughs> right, Chad? Hmm. Back in my day. This is the first basket with chains. <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, Ryan's getting a little bogey there. Oh, sorry. Tristan with the bird. Tristan yeah. with the only birdie, and then Ryan with the bogey. Yeah, Tristan. All right, hole eight is uh, par three, 240 feet. Up the hill again. <laughs> Mind you, of Zephyr at all? <laughs> <laughs> at least they pepper in some downhills in between. Yeah, right. <laughs> and this one, if I remember, is just out of sight again, right? Like, oh, you gotta look at where it goes there, Will. He'll find it. <laughs> oh. Inside forehand line seems to be the one that uh, has the most success here. Yeah, if I like that. Or outside, actually. Yeah. If I like the backhand line, it's so likely to hit the trees, and you kind of have to go around that that one that's kind of right in front of you. You can't really go inside of it, or else you're just hides your away from the basket. So. Oh. Oh. There it is. Yeah, okay, gave it a chance. Andrew saying he's been throwing nose down all day. Looks like he's going to try to correct that. Kill Ryan. Going to bounce back. Yep. Gets himself a, a birdie on these world class Mach 3s. Oh, Tristan's really got to get it together. He just took a par. <laughs> Unfortunate. Think he'll ba bounce back? I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Will tapping in his par there here on hole eight. Looks like Ryan's uh, yeah, what a gonna drive. get the birdie at the end there. Yeah, that forehand mm -hmm. outside line. Pretty cute. Uh, hole nine, par three, 318. One of my favorites. I love this shot. It's very challenging, very narrow tunnel the whole way down, but you throw it like that. You can be pretty happy. Mm -hmm. oh, the only so problem with it is that the basket's right at the base of the hill, so if you do throw the perfect straight downhill shot, you're probably going to skip long of the basket. Yeah, these tunnel shots are kind of my some of my favorites. Yeah. You know, but if you really just send it and pierce it down there, like, you see that height? Like, I like it. Let's see if it works itself out. Uh, looks like he got a little bit of cabbage. Oh, Nova. Oh, the high route. Did he get through everything? What? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's so good. Huh? That's so good. Oh, I don't think Will's going to like that one. No, he got a kick to the left. Should have gone lefty, Will. Great approach. Very nice. Okay, here's Will. Oh, way to save it. Great wow. rock. Wow. Yeah. We got a high fly ball. Boom. He was hunting. Yeah. He was not laying that up. This is one of Oh! That hit the top <laughs> real yeah. hard. Way to stay in. Andrew's getting slippery, I'll tell you what. <laughs> this is one of the more wide open baskets, too, or pin yeah. positions, you know, where you have putting room. I agree. You actually have good footing once you're down here rather than just got a manzanita up in your yeah, crotch. Yeah, open your grill. Does Will putt left-handed too? I don't know. Oh, I haven't noticed. All right, we're watching you, Will. All right, looks like Ryan's going to drop in his par, and Ryan Bain is also going to get his par. So just the one birdie there for Andrew McGill. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Look at all the color on that. All right, Tristan Cook. Fire emoji six mm -hmm. under through nine. Fire. That's so good. 
So good. So. Yeah, Ryan Ryan Bain uh, following with the four under, and Ryan Jewell with a respective three. Mike Sale trying to claw his way. Nate as well, <clears throat> both four under through nine. Um, fun front round, front nine. Yeah, that yeah. Was a, that was a, a good entertainment. It's I been mean, a while since I've been to Sierra College. Yeah, yeah. It's always fun to see the course, but also to see the, you know the best guys, the lead card play because that's not what my scorecard looks like. <laughs> 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 I've seen you play pretty well there. I've done it right. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining us for the front nine. We are going to be right back with the back nine coverage for round three of Legends of the Lake. See you See guys. You then. All right.